And it's Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard. And this is part two. Even though I thought this painting was going to make me happy and was done yesterday, I was mistaken. So I'm going to do some stuff to it, I think, that I expect to make me happy. And I'm going to start by using colors I just used in another painting that I loved that seemed kind of dark. But that's okay. Ooh, I have a color I didn't use, too. Yep, that'll work. I'm just going to use all dark colors. And throw some black in there, too. We have love bugs. Love bugs are everywhere. They land on me. I kind of forget for a second, and then I get over it. But um, do I want some green in there? I do. I want a little bit of green. I'm running quite low on green. Come off tap. Whoa. Without the extra, please. How about open sesame? Oh, please. No, nope. not coming out no matter what I do. All right. Still, one more try. There we go. All right. So, because I have some of that already in there, and that's Prussian blue. And I think maybe, just maybe, because there was some copper in there already, I'm going to add a little bit more of that. Now what I want to do before that is go ahead and add some orange to the sky and maybe a sun. Maybe some yellow too. If it'll come out. And I think I have around here somewhere a Princeton Artful Catalyst spatula. I just need more bizarre drama. And that makes me somewhat happier. Whoops. <laughs> Painting's dry so I can mark I can wipe things up a little bit if I need to. I like this other orange a lot too. It was it was okay and it was interesting. It just wasn't as okay as I needed it to be to be interesting to me. And I feel like if it's not interesting to me, it's not going to be that interesting to some other people. But that's not necessarily true. So I'm thinking that. This over here needs the same treatment on this side. And if I'm very clever, I will not dump over my little butter dish of paint. That would be good. Maybe bringing it back all the way around there will help. The less I mix these two together, the more likely I am to get the look of um, fresh paint. I have a strong desire. Yep. Yeah. To take a risk. Since they're nice thin layers of paint, and I use GAC 800 anyway, I don't think I'm going to have too much risk. Although that needs to go right over the top. Which is what this painting is a little bit. Right over the top. Except for that thing that did not belong, and that thing next to it that definitely did not belong. What can I say? I need what I need. I don't know what I'm going to do with that blue. That blue is cool, but I think it wants some other blue with it. To 
sort of zhuzh it up or to tone it down or yeah I like that better not sure that was the right place to put that but it's not hurting me either so a little tiny bit more of that right there where that funky shape is distressing me And now I am pleased because that just looks better to me. What can I say? Not only that, it looks so much better to me. But I'm going to give myself permission. To add it all the way along and that's not hurting my feelings. Now, boy oh boy. I want a little bit, do I, I want to mix that actually. I think I have a fork around here or a threek. So I'm going to just mix that a little bit. I've never done exactly this, probably some variations on a theme. But I really just want to see if this is going to work out the way I expect it to. And I'll grab anything that's left. And let it... Yes, I do. I liked what I had, but I like what I have better. You have permission, you need to give yourself permission when you're not sure about something to go ahead. I don't really need an edge catcher, but I don't think I need to put anything on my tile. Hopefully this is going to be okay. I know my sky probably won't move. I'm holding tight to the back of the canvas. We'll let some of those things just flow and add some interest and hope that I didn't go too far. Maybe not with the fork. Love bugs land wherever they want. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Enough said. Maybe maybe long pants till love bug season is over. All right. As much as I love that, what do I want to do there? I want some gold in there. Is what I want. Ouch very sharp fork. You know what I really want? I either want to put chain in there, which I probably don't. <coughs> I want to try my tubing again. Which I've actually been using quite a bit recently. Yep, that was my finger. I like everything about that except for I want some more copper. And I think I'm just going to do a little integration. The leftover paint from my spatula And now it looks like a C, <laughs> a rough C, but um, I still like it better than I liked it. So it is what it is, and it's part two. And unless I change my mind, it's part two and done. 
wipe off my spatula on the edge of my canvas and call it good. I'm Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery. I do sell my artwork. I give classes in Spring Hill, Florida in my studio. I have Facebook groups. Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation is for students. Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Fans and Collectors is for fans and collectors. If you're looking for my paint pouring recipe, it is under the video along with Pinterest, Instagram, and Twitter links. If you give me a thumbs up, it helps me out immensely. If you have subscribed, thank you very much. If you've subscribed and you're not receiving notifications, you might want to check on that, because they do disappear once in a while. I mean the subscriptions. Hey, and the notifications, they disappear too. There's a blue dot in there that I don't want in there. And whatever it is, it's not a blue dot anymore. So somewhere around here, my crib sheet blew away, and I hope I remembered every to tell you everything I wanted to tell you, but um, if I didn't, check another video. Check the end screens of this video and any video for a contest. If you are a contributor to help keep support me, keep me painting, it's a $10 minimum to uh, have a chance to win a painting or a choice of two paintings this month or a credit toward the purchase of a painting and a signed copy of my book called Because I Can, Volume 1. I love you guys. There's over 80,000 of you or there's 80,000 of you about to be more very shortly. I hope you take care and I hope you check the end screens for over 840 videos categorized and reachable by my going to my channel and you'll find um, categories and blocks of 100s or nearly 100s. They're not perfectly organized actually. And, uh, I see those things and I just have to fix them. And then I realize that I probably shouldn't be working upside down. And then I go ahead anyway, because I can, the name of my book on the Amazon link. If you shop my Amazon link, you help me out at no added cost to you. And if you purchase clothing from below the video, you will find the Because I Can slogan and some really, really awesome leggings and all over t-shirts. Long and, well, short sleeve for now. And I'm hoping they'll let me have, let me do dresses. And that would be really spectacular. I am a want-to-be fashion designer, clothing designer, whatever you want to say. And uh, I love you guys dearly. So I hope you keep coming back. And uh, there will probably be a video tomorrow, I hope. And I hope I can keep doing this for you guys. Thank you all for the wonderful comments and the compliments. And you keep my morale up really, 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 really well. Thank you so much for being here. Yeah, you probably just looked at my head. Looks good upside down. All right, <laughs> I'll see you soon. I'm going to zoom in for a second. I like it better than I did. And uh, that's a good thing. Bye for now. Priscilla out.